If you need inspiration for your Power BI report, I have a data gallery that maybe will help you with that. Let me show you. So if you go to curvo.com and then you click on data stories gallery, it will take you to this page. It is a structure the following way. It has a title for what the Power BI report is all about, a little bit of a description, and then it will talk about the source, the visualization tool use, and if there is any custom visual use, if it is Power BI. Also, sometimes it'll tell you if it is if an update, so if it connects live to the data, things like that. Um, so this is, you will see on the source that is actually data that you download on your computer. So obviously it doesn't update daily. Made with Power BI and there are no custom visuals, you can either click here or click on the thumbnail to go to the report and explore it. So this is uh, for RFM visualization. Uh, I'll talk more about this report some of the time. Uh, I have one for Power BI salaries where you enter a salary, what you are charging your customers. And then you can see in the US, because I just got data from the US, uh, where you place yourself. And then you can see for different states, if you are doing better or worse than the average person. Next one is about population in Europe. This is United Nations data, it is real data. It's actually taken them from their API. It updates uh, daily in Power BI service and use Power BI, no custom visualizations. This is the visualization you create. I did this to create a course on how to get data from APIs. So you can check it out here. I have another one, the Democracy Tracker. This is the Freedom House data and it's using Charticulator to create it. I love this report, even if yeah, it might look a bit complicated. Anyhow, it might give you some ideas of what to do. This is the COVID tracker for the Pacific Islands. It uses the official data from the Pacific stat site. Uh, it is connecting to their site. It is live data, true data, and it, Power BI, and no uh, custom visuals. And there is a tutorial for it too. This is the income by metro stations. Use real data but it's just files so it, i wasn't able to find it on any live data set and it uses charticulator to map the income per subway station so fun to do i have the social media tracker i show you how i got the data this i did with funnel social media connectors at the updates daily now it's not connected but uh, you know, it's just connected again and it will update. It's nothing weird there. And it shows the progress of subscribers for different social medias in the space. I have the sports tracker. I have actually quite a few sports trackers. This is just one of them. I have to publish the other ones. I did one for the UEFA Championship. This is for La Liga. So there are quite a few. You can go and, you know, you can explore the different tabs and see what you can do. And I have one for Garmin Connect. I have a Garmin, so I track all my activities. So you can actually see here for 2021-22. You know, the, the pandemic years actually is quite fun. And you can, you know, click on, you can click on any of the images and it'll take you always to the Power BI report and then you can play live with the data. This was made with Charticulator. And then infographic, I show you how to do this actually on one of the videos like a, a few weeks ago so these you already have and then this is uh, something that I showed you how to do last week I think right so I'm going to continue updating these with I have a bunch of other reports that I would love to show you I just have to clean them up a little bit and uh, I hope that this gives you a little bit of inspiration of how to do things. If you want me to create a course on how to do any of these reports, just let me know and I will be happy to do it. So I hope you're enjoying your summer. If you're watching this video, it means next week I'm coming back from my summer holidays. Mm. But uh, always fun to work again. So I will see you again on the next video next week.